Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today not so way to Grimsby. Last away game of the season, penultimate game of the season. A lot has changed since we last went to Grimsby. Um, last time we went we were second bottom, now we are fifth. Um, we were battling relegation then, now we have secured a playoff spot and are fighting for automatic promotion. And uh, oh my, is it really tight at the top. Um, like I said, last video, Wickham 78, XT 77, not 76. A lot of things can happen today. Wickham can be promoted. They could still end the day in the top three, but not promoted. Exeter could end the day in the top three. Notts could end the day in the top three. It is very much all to play for in the race of automatic promotion. Lincoln have even got an outside chance, but they've got they're going away to Accrington today, who are yet to score the league title, so... That might put pay to their chances. So I believe it's between three teams. Oh my, this is going to be... I'm, I'm so nervous for this. Notts have got to win to take it to the final day. We're, we're taking over 2,000 fans. Come on, you pies. Come on, Notts. Let's win. Get a win. Take it to the final day. Come on, Notts. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. <laughs> In, still nil nil. Grimsby have hit the post already, hit the post after like six minutes. Knox have just started going, uh, just started to get going a little bit. We, had, we didn't have much of the ball in the early stage. We're, we're, we're getting there. And it's slotted in. Grimsby have just missed an absolute city. The ball got to three in the area, saved by Colin. And a second shot, and a second chance. Got by Noble, and Colin rescued it. Lots of us had a good chance. We've had two bounce here fields, both turned down. Good football as well, fought, fought, had a shot. It was near to the back post. But nobody could finish, it's still 1-0 Grimsby. Second half of the the game, Grimsby 1, Knox 0. Knox have, not, have been lacklustre first half. We really start, we start to get into it later in the half. Probably should have had a penalty. But hey, you always play better second half. And we were 1-0 down at Colchester and we came back to win 3-1, so anything can happen. Give it. Oh, Duffy, what are we doing here?
beating when it's gone, it's still 1-0, not so bad, three cleared off the line, three chances cleared off the line. And Wickham have scored as well, so as it stands, Wickham are going up. And we're three off the line, Duff, one of them would fall in my back from the corner, Duffy flip header, it was going in. And just got there, Alessandro had a good chance, cleared off the line. We need to score two, otherwise it's completely over. So we are back from Cleethorpes. Knots have lost two one to Grimsby. Oh, I just I've, I'm absolutely gutted. To be honest, you know, automatic promotion hopes over, gone, out the window, whatever. Done, we can beat Chesterfield by two goals to one. Um, it just, it's so disappointing, you know, for the automatic promotion hopes to be over, to say we were in the promotion, the automatic promotion places for a good three months or so. Yeah, we can beat Chesterfield, but then again, asking for a favour from Chesterfield. It's like asking the weather to be sunny on a match day. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, even disappointing um, to lose in the manner we did. We scored in the 90th minute and then Grimsby got up the other end. Score from a corner. It's just, it's gutting and disappointing. Um, not just because of the way we lost the game, but because of all so the promotion that's been over. It's just, it's doubly disappointing. The performance though was not good enough. You know, we got caught up in the occasion for me. Um, big crowd there. We filled out the away end. Grimsby, obviously, big crowd. they battling down at the bottom. They need a win to survive. Knox obviously need a win to keep their automatic promotion hopes alive. It was a big game. Knox filled out the away end. And we, we and Jono, I think, said it right on Twitter. We went out there and played for the playoff revenue. We looked like we were on the beach already. It looked like there wasn't an automatic promotion place up for grabs. Um, we just completely looked like you know, our season was over and we just had to wait for the playoffs to come around. The performance was very disappointing. Um, like I said, first off was very lacklustre. You know, we didn't really get into the game at all. The first goal is an awful mistake. Duffy, just put your foot for it, man. Just get rid of it. Oh, so annoying. Just... Duffy was a pack of mistakes all game. Collins kicking was awful. And Nicky Hunt, why didn't we buy a better right back up right back? Oh, he's just he's he's 36, man. He's our back up right back. You know, just we seemed very disjointed in the first half. Second half comes. 
Um, we are we're better for the opening 10 or so minutes. We got forward, we tried to create chances, and it was frustrating in the second half. We had three chances cleared off the line. Um, a very clear handball. I don't know if the ref saw it or not, but there was about four players. It was an absolute scramble in the area, and the Grimsby player, I think, handballed it. I saw it on them. Um, I saw it on looking back at the video, and oh, it's handball. It is, but I'm not going to blame that. I'm not going to blame that for our defeat because, like I already said, we were very lackluster. We looked like we were on the beach already. Part of me is gutted. Part of me is annoyed. Um, I mean, when you won one in the ninetieth minute, and one of your players starts bringing the ball upfield to put like start an attack, you get really excited, but it just wasn't to be. You know, when Wickham were two and one up against Chesterfield, we were still one 0 down, and you think we need to score two goals to stay in the promotion race, and we score in the ninetieth minute, but it's just a bit too late, isn't it? It's just a little bit too late, and oh. We're in promotion. We're in the automatics of automatic promotion places for three months, and the reason, the reason why we won't get the reason why we haven't gone up automatically, um, is because of that awful January transfer window and um, dropping points against lower teams. We've lost today. We've lost to Barnet. We've lost to Chesterfield. We drew it home to Forest Green earlier in the season. Um, we've lost a crew, we drew against Yeovil away, you know, you've got to be winning these games if you want to be going up automatically. And also we've um, conceded late equalisers, like the one to Mansur, like the one to Accrington, and that's why we haven't gone up automatically. They are the two big reasons why we have not gone up automatically. On, on a positive note, no, on the way out, uh, Grimsby Stewart said, you know, you, along with Coventry, have been the best support at Blundell Park this season, the best away support. So that was good to know. Go out on a positive at least. But anyways, if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you want to subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, see you.